24 point eight and three quarters. Hey y'all, Artist Poet Girl here, also known as APG Jamie. And today, we're gonna work on this here canvas. And she started out as a face from 29 Faces in September as hosted by Ayala. And there'll be a link below in the description box to her blog in case you would like to join in her February or September 29 Faces a Day challenge. And to start with, we're going to do the background. Let's see. It's a beautiful, beautiful blue, y'all. I just love that blue. Mm -hmm. And uh, don't get too excited because it all goes through stages. And sometimes stages aren't so pretty. Hang on, I'm adjusting my mic. Apologies for the awkward awkward not aqua <laughs> awkward sounds so we're just painting along and yeah I can use bigger brushes but why when I have so many small ones at hand and now I'm going over the blue with a uh, brilliant green I don't know the particular colors I don't have the tubes in front of me and I didn't write them down so it's very vague ingredients on this one okay acrylic paints y'all you know professional and student grade acrylic paint okay y'all okay so we're just painting along oh and this one is a pale aqua turquoise or a pale light blue depending on how you want to look at it and it's fairly translucent okay like a glaze think glaze and a little bit later on, I, um, which I don't, I didn't film that part. I didn't get everything filmed, okay? Because you know, sometimes I was a little excited and in a hurry to get started back on it for the day, so I didn't turn the camera. Anywho, so there we was. Uh, oh, I, the background gets a little more blue around the edges because I want to darken it up and stuff like that. And now we're working on the wood floor because she's on a wooden floor. We're painting the wood floor and around the window. And no, I did not want anything straight, per se straight, okay? Because, you know, this is a whimsical piece, which some of y'all know that's um, mostly what I do. Because it makes me happy. And let's see, I'm painting the sky in the window. And at first I sort of try to paint around the uh, flower pot and the flowers that I drew in there. And I just give up and paint over them because I'm like, wait, I can draw them back. I can draw them back. And then uh, thirdly, so that was the second thought, right? And then thirdly, I had another thought a little bit later on because I was going to put 3D stuff on her face. Oh, hang on. It's the phone. Hang on. So anyway, sorry about the interruption with the phone call. Uh, where was I? Shading the window. Yeah, we'll just kind of go from there. How's that sound? <laughs> it sounds okay to me, APG JV. Anyway, this was a couple of weeks worth of work, several hours, and I whittled it down to 16 and a half minutes. Did I already say that? Cause I mentioned that in one of my previous voiceovers because yeah I usually have to start over and again and mm -hmm. so it's a red flower pot and I know I got that line cricket I'll fix it in a minute and also I use some paper clay to make like a lip that will be attached on this side after the uh, 3d elements go on and that was very hard for me to film that part to show you which that'll be coming at. I thought about making that a part too and then I thought, no, I'm not going to do it. It's just all one video. One video. I was moving my arm because, you know, I was using hand signals. And then Molly was like, oh, now you have to touch me with that hand, Mom. <laughs> She's such a needy little dog. I think we'll keep her. So I'm adding some shading. And uh, I add a shadow. But I don't think that part got filmed. 
uh, yeah, some days I was really excited to get started on her and I didn't take the laptop out that is held together with duct tape now. <laughs> I'm just saying. Here's the gold on the floor. I really like how it came out with the gold on the floor. I do not put gold around the window though. I just wanted it on the floor. Okay. Okay. You know, just one fairly, fairly thin layer there. You know, the gold paint can be pretty translucent. Now we're going to start painting on the girl. And I like, uh, I like uh, Titan Buff. <laughs> Titan Buff. And I use various shades thereof. Lighter, darker with what? One of the umbers. And uh, portrait pink, I add that in there too, in some places and areas. And white, of course, you gotta put the white. Did I say white already? If I said white, it would be titanium white. So add in some shadows. I know she's a strange one because she's got the wonky neck, and then this, these are her shoulders and her arms. She doesn't actually have a body. I could have put body on there, but um, yeah, the name of this piece is A Still Life, so she sort of is still, okay, so she's kind of like a coffee table, you know, but she's not a coffee table, she's just kind of like one, I should let you make up your own story, what, yeah, y'all smart? Y'all so smart. You figured out. Mm-hmm. 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 So, yeah, y'all didn't actually see me do the undercoatings on her face. And now I'm putting some rouge on her cheeks. Also known as blush. Blushing her up a little bit. And um, to even out to skin tones, you should do one, at least one, at a bare minimum to three or more layers of um, glaze and that really helps even out your skin tones if that's the effect you're looking for otherwise don't do it because you know sometimes it can get uh, skin tones can be a little blotchy so I think that, yeah there's my glaze now I'm getting a baby wipe because I, I got out of the lines which theoretically is, I, I, I am known to be out of lines. <laughs> but well, in this case, I was kind of trying to stay in the lines. And uh, that's my glaze. And I've got uh, the Titan Buff White uh, Portrait Pink and um, Glazing Medium because I really wanted to keep it thin and all that stuff. And we're painting her lips. Now I've used the... Um, the same red on the uh, flower pot and I've uh, melted it down with white and a little bit of the Titan Buff to get this unusual color okay mm -hmm. and lightened it up for the bottom lip because the top lip gets shaded by the nose mostly yeah and her mouth is open. I put black in there. You know, I'm not putting white teeth or nothing. I thought about it and I thought, no, it's just going to be open and it's just all going to be, you know, kind of dark. So, yeah. And uh, I think I missed filming her eyes. So she will magically have eyes in a second. If not already. Cause, you know, timing on the voiceover and the video and all that. Mm -hmm. And might I add, that timing is off, girl, boy, y'all. Y'all, that timing's off. Mm -hmm. Talking about missing painting her eyes and, you know. And we just jumped right through the hair and everything else. And some little eyelashes. I'm happy with her eyelashes. I'm not always happy with eyelashes. 
I'm happy with hers. Those are some acrylic painted, uh, or that's some watercolor paper that was painted with acrylics in a mishmash kind of pouring way, and I used dyes uh, to die cut them out. And I've already adhered them down with a gel matte medium. And this is that little uh, ridge of the flower pot I talked about earlier. I hope I talked about it earlier. Once I got that on there, um, I'm uh, putting on my varnish and just cross hatching it. And I did do two coats. And I wanted to do this before I put my 3D elements on there because it's hard to varnish around 3D elements. And I am talking from prior experience here. So, yeah. And speaking of 3D elements, here they are. These are some molded flowers I picked up from somewhere. I don't know where. I was going to paint them a color, but no, I decided I'm going to leave them just like they were. The white ones I did go over with white and a little bit of yellow, um, yellow ochre, I believe it was. And um, so here I am 3D and attaching. I'm going to sew these on with. Um, fishing line sew them on sort of I'm using a needle to poke holes in the canvas because I don't want to pull the whole needle through there because that would make way too big of a hole and I'm threading the fishing line into the hole and leaving a loop on the top there will be some close-up photographs uh, somewhere in here and uh, so I'm making a loop and then I'm trimming the fishing line on the back and then I'm coming back and going in the next needle poked hole because I will slide the um, the flower stem in through the loops and then t uh, I also I, uh, use gel medium to on there and then I'll pull the, the loops tight on the back and tie them into knots and interweave the thing so that they don't pull through yeah 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 pictures coming right up hanging there well yeah there'll be pictures any minute any second Wait for it. I don't know. And I'm tying and tying and I'm looping my their photograph. Hope that timing worked pretty good. Cross fingers. There's the loops. There's the flower stem through the loops and then I pull the loops tight. Yeah, after I put glue, uh, glue. I put gel medium on the flower and the stem and then put it back through the loops. Pull the loops tight, flip it over, and tie it from the back, weaving my other loose threads on there. I hope that all makes sense, because, yeah, hopefully. Hopefully so. And sliding it in. Now, afterwards, because this is a matte gel medium, uh, I come back, once it's all dry, I come back and touch up with my varnish again, because I want to make sure, you know, it's all the same sheen. Sorta. Of. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tying and tying and tying some more. So let's see. It's it's very hard to see. And yes, I sped up considerably. Okay. And then and when I speed up a whole lot like this, that's what makes the voiceover get sort of out of sync with the video as I'm recording the voiceover sort of that I was just using a brush to clean up the uh, spill over the gunk gunky splots of the um, gel medium that spills out because I don't like real, real big honking glue junks poking out so much so there we go and I do this with all four flower stems because I have two of the blue ones and then two of the white ones and then there's a white one that will be adhered to the window sill. And I, I decided, you know, because I was, the whole time I had planned on using real reading glasses on her, okay? There, see, that's a sort of a close-up. Can you see that? Can you see that stem through there? Uh-huh, uh-huh. So anyway, I was gonna put. I knew I was gonna put glasses, real, real, real reading glasses on her from the get go. And then I, after I, when I was doing the whole flower thing in the window thing, I thought hey, I'm just gonna get some real flowers on it. Well, not real flowers, but you know, uh -uh, 3D flowers, almost real anyway. So there, I'm just tying some more, 
And yeah, it was, it was, uh, yeah, kind of time consuming, took a while. And I also put uh, the gel medium over all my threads on the backs and all the holes and stuff on the backs. And there I'm gluing on the, um, the little lip I talked about that I made out of paper clay. And I also ended up coming back and putting a little more paper clay sort of inside the pot to make it look like dirt. And I didn't film that part, but I'm happy with it because it makes me happy. It looks like dirt in there. It looks like real dirt, but it's not real dirt, y'all. It's not. Okay? Really, it's not. So, um, just cruising along. Musical interlude. Y'all getting tired of that? Have y'all missed me saying heat gun? Because I, I, I did use the heat gun when I was working on the blush on her cheeks. Because, yeah, I had that thinned down and I wanted to, to dry it so I could put another layer on there before it super dried. Yeah. Photo montage. Ta da! I just love her. She makes me happy. I appreciate each and every one of you. <clears throat> Thanks so much for spending your valuable time uh, with me. And um, yeah. Thanks for watching. And happy arting, y'all.